Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath, Serena. Right there. Maybe I could have another look. <laughs> this game is Serena. It is an indie game and there's no options. Because I started this up before and there was no options. So I apologize if music is way too fucking loud. And you know what? I'm not monetizing my stuff anyway, so feel free. I can swear however much I want. Fuck shit, damn. All the fun there. Anyway, uh... I guess I'll go into details Just one about more the game. try. I know it's pointless, <laughs> but I need to do it. I'll go into details about the game and the developer and stuff later. I guess I'll just uh, click. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors, laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Okay. My love... We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Well, then, uh, maybe you should have taken better care of it. Uh, okay, well, it seems like this is a bit more of a quiet area, so I can say this stuff. Okay, um, the developer is Senscape? 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 S-E-N, or, yeah, S-E-N-S-C-A-P-E. So, Senscape, I think. If I pronounce it wrong, I apologize. Uh, all I did was really look at the store page. It's basically about a husband waiting for his wife. And it said stuff like dark and stuff. Dark, gruesome, point-and-click adventure. In some of the big-name reviews. So, beyond that, I'm going in kind of blind. But I did look at those reviews. Um, okay, I'm going to click again. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Okay. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. All right, well, okay. There's a bed. Can't look any further over. Am I sitting in a chair? Yes, I am. I have no legs. Or to or torso, by the looks of it. Uh, let's look at that. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Is that a picture of a bunch of girls in a bath? That's weird. What's that say? True friends stand by each other through any adversity. Okay. Huh. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious sensual thrill. Let's see. Dude. Teenagers do that shit. It's not that big a deal. That's a lot of books. The table is worn but sturdy. Just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. So is she like dead or gone or... Okay, so it's not going to be like the more I click stuff. Our dining table. Okay. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
What's making the... Where's the clock that's making that noise? It's bugging me. Whatever. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. I'm totally not going to comment on what I think he's talking about. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, so that's a thing. I want to go over here. Oh, cutscene. Ooh. I'm over here now. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate, yet I don't feel hungry. Yeah, me and my dad get like that sometimes, where we just get so stressed we don't even think about eating. We end up going, like, a couple days sometimes. I still oh. can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Okay. I have more pressing things on my mind right now than culinary exploits. Isn't it pronounced culinary? I always le thought it was a uh, culinary. That's how I was taught. The stove looks like something from World War I. It's a wood-burning stove. I've heard, I've, uh, I was in Girl Scouts once, and our one of our Girl Scout cabins had a wood-burning stove. It was pretty cool. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we managed to do with it from time to time. Well, she mostly. Oh, it sits me back down. I don't want to sit down. Do we know any of these titles? Somewhere in here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. You're going to find her corpse under the floorboards, aren't you? Oof. Maybe under the bed or something. That's fucking creepy. I still want to know why there's that creepy picture. That picture's kind of creepy, too. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? Oh, okay. Oh, cute. Common Sense and Other Lovely Fairy Tales. I like that one. And? So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. I like books. Zombie Space Dinosaurs from <laughs> the Deep. Hate my family. Okay, that sounds like a book I would I really look enjoy. around some more. I have to remember her face. Blind Earth. Encyc oh. Encyclopedia Galactica. Here to the smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I love old books. I remember, uh, when I was younger, my grandma gave me a bunch of her old Nancy Drews from when she was a kid. So I have, like, a huge shelf filled with old hardcover Nancy Drews. Perhaps in her so dresser. Or something that she liked. She didn't like books? That's a sin. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Okay, well, where are some of her A books? A lot of rarities and special editions here. I wonder if these are actual books. That Horton Hears one on the end sounds like a 
a spoof of that Dr. Seuss one. Horton, here's a who. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Ash, is that you? Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. How do I... Oh, it's the bottom. Well, does the top one give me anything different? It does. Cool. Dragon for Goats in 24 Hours. Dream of Snow, James Kellogg, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Okay, I think that one might be real. I know Portrait of a Serial Killer is. Oh. The Art of Drowning. Okay. Behind the left-handed architect, United the Fairy Grotto. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? <laughs> that next one, though. So you want to be a purple tentacle. A lot of rarities and special editions no, here. <laughs> the purple tentacle one made me giggle. Okay. Here. What's this one? I want to see these ones. <laughs> uh, kleptomania. That's why I'm single. <laughs> oh, that one's the story of my life. <laughs> I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. The craziest guide to fortifying your liver. I don't drink enough for that. Uh, one more key card, and I'll, then I'll ask Susie. Oh, what else makes this weird in my Oh. <laughs> I should look around some more. I have to remember her face. So does that mean that's all that's over? So many afternoons spent in this armchair. <laughs> it looks very badly upholstered. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. That's a different voice. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Okay, I am getting that. I'm getting bad vibes. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Oh yeah, this is a creepy picture. Is that a knife? A knife? Right here? I'm not sure if you can see my mouse or not. I'd be able to know if I check if I had a settings page to check, but I don't. And if I press escape, it closes. Okay. I'm by the stairs now. Or by the not stairs. By the front window thing. This window never got much attention. Then again the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I'm getting so many bad vibes. I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. Alright, well that's where I'm leaving the first episode of this. Uh, I kind of have to do this in post-production, so... Yeah, sorry about all of that. I kind of recorded this all in one go, and that's about two hours of footage. So, I'm not going to just post it all in one video, I'm going to do it in multiple ones. So, first episode, cutting off right here. I'm going to get straight to editing the next one, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.